And so the upshot is, he's married. Right. You don't seem surprised. <sighs> Nothing surprises me, Emma. The main thing now is to decide how you're going to get your own back on this two-timing imbecile. And what would that achieve, exactly? It'll make you feel better. You have a small window to wreak revenge before he knows you know. I think I'm just better off cutting my losses and moving on. You can't let him off the hook that easily. Where's your fighting spirit? It's the point. I should have known it was too good to be true. Anyway, the worst thing is, is that now I have to tell Valerie she was... Yeah. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Um, I can't get an appointment with my GP and I was wondering if either of you two could... Sorry, Karen, I'm chocker all day. I could make excuses, but honestly, Karen, you're a terrible patient. I don't want to. I beg your pardon? Is it an emergency? Not exactly. Sorry, Karen, treating staff members is bad practice. So, I do not have the energy for some elaborate campaign of vengeance. That's where I can help. No, thank you. You look shifty. No, I don't. <laughs> look, the way I see it is either you call him out on what he's done or you let him get away with it. No, that is not what I'm doing. Isn't it? I just feel so stupid more than anything else. I do have lots of experience in the payback game. But if you want to just let him carry on and do it all again with another clueless cookery student... Thank you. You weren't the first and you certainly won't be the last. All right, fine. Let's do it. Excellent. I knew you'd come round. And actually, I've already made the phone call to get things started. Alex? Thanks for meeting me at such short notice. You were very persuasive on the phone. How could I say no? It's such an important event. I really felt like I had to meet the man in charge. Here I am. I'm sure we'll be able to accommodate you. I hope so. I can be very demanding. <laughs> I'm looking for someone who can cater to my demands across all of my portfolios. And I'm hoping that you're the man for the job. I'm listening. Running my business takes up all of my time, especially now that I'm single. And I'm looking for someone to help ease the pressure. I hear you. We work ourselves into the ground and then we go home to an empty flat. Exactly. One needs to make time for other pursuits to blow off steam. I think I understand. Can you help? I know I can. Perhaps we should discuss this further in my office. Music to my ears. <laughs> if you would just excuse me for one moment. I'll be here. There is a limit to how much more flirting I can do. You had better be on your way. <sighs> I'm going to be straight with you. I like you, and I know that you feel the same way. I think we can do business, and I know you'll be satisfied with the results. <laughs> Someone thinks a lot of himself. So, how about it? <laughs> how about what? This. A sheep! Oh, what the hell is going on? Emma, we were about to seal a business deal. You are such a cliché. I can't believe I fell for it. I feel so embarrassed. I can explain. I doubt it. You can't even man up and admit it when you've been caught. After everything you said, everything you did. Oh, you make me sick. You told me you were single. Uh, uh, ladies, 
Why don't we be civil? Let's sit down and have a talk, huh? Oh, Shaka! Miri John, this isn't what it looks like. I am such an idiot! Nahi, Nahi, I can explain. Ranido! This is not the first time. Nahi, Nahi, Teri Kasam, I hardly know these ladies. <sighs> Miri John! Wait! So, was it everything you hoped for? What was your favourite part? Favourite? I most enjoyed the look on his face when you came in. But I must admit that the drenching was also rather marvellous. What about the wife? Yes! Now that was something. I mean, what are the chances of her walking in on the middle of something like that? Oh, Emma. Zara? What about his children? I mean, did you even consider them? This is what you wanted. No, I wanted to get my own back on a sheik. His wife and kids had nothing to do with it. You don't think he deserved it? Well, yes. He would still be cheating on his wife if you hadn't found out. I know, but... It wouldn't surprise me if he still turned up here and tried to talk you out of it. No, they were going to find out at some point. You just don't want blood on your hands. No, I don't. And I'm surprised that you do. Honestly, I don't know these people. They don't matter to me. You do. This man hurt you and I want to help you hurt him back. It's too much, Zara. And it wasn't the plan. Why do you always have to take things too far? <sighs> Not now, Valerie. Sorry, Emma, but you've got a visitor. I left my wife. <laughs> you are joking. We've been growing apart. Don't tell me. She doesn't understand you. She doesn't. And now it's over, and it's you I want to be with. <laughs> I walked in on you about to kiss another woman. She was throwing herself at me, trying to get a good deal. It was sexual harassment. <laughs> she was trying to kiss me. She was needy and pushy and a little bit desperate, actually. Oh, really? That woman is my friend. What? My best friend. And you do not get to speak about her like that. You set me up. Oh, yes. And didn't you just have it coming? Do you know what you've done? My wife threw me out. Oh, I thought you left her. You've ruined my life. No, you've done that. Now get out. I said, get out. Zara was right. If it hadn't have been me, it would have been somebody else. Who's Zara? I'm Zara. Now you heard her. Go. You two. I... 